Micah loves Miss Sophie. Now I'm having to hang on to her neck there so she didn't go anywhere. <coughs> Sophie's growing big. She's easier to pick up now. I can pick her up pretty good now. Hey, Miss Sophie. Micah loves Sophie. Oh, Micah, you love Sophie? Yeah. Yeah, Sophie's sweet, huh? <coughs> Miss Lilybug. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hey, Miss Lilybug. Lilybug. Lilybug's still difficult to pick up. Lilybug. And yeah, we still have Micah's drawers hanging out in, in our room because we have to get, um, oh, she found a balloon. Sophie found a balloon. I mean, Lilybug found a balloon. When Micah was sick, this couple in our Spanish ministry came to see her. Their whole family came. It was really sweet. What you finding in there, Miss Lilybug? I think we're going to have to replace that whole unit with those drawers. The third drawer, the one in the middle that's still there, we can't get it out either. I looked and looked and looked the other day and I can't find these exact shelves. But I figured out that these shelves are, um, uh, I forgot, I figured out the brand when I was looking through there. But they do not carry exactly what we have. So we have to have a plan B. Man, she has got herself down as far as she can get, doesn't she? Look at her. Well, hey, Miss Ladybug, what you doing down there, huh? You is half off. Oh, she's trying really hard. Come on. Come on, Sophie. Wait. Ah. Come on. Come on, dear baby. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. There you go. Aw, that's sweet. That's sweet, Miss so Miss Sophie. Like it's just petting away. You like the kitties, huh? Yeah. Miss Lily's just exploring. Lily. Yep, see all I did was squat down and she ran off. Second favorite place in the house is to sleep on Micah's bed <laughs> and to sniff all the CNA stuff. Miss Taylor, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Lily's really skinny. See how skinny she is? Well, you can't tell as much when she's in that position. When she's standing up, walking around, she's super, she's super, super skinny. I'm pretty sure she's underweight. Yeah. Okay, let's take Miss Sophie before she has a heart attack here. Look pretty, Mikey. Just getting down out of her standing frame. Lily, Lily, Lily. Now see, they're they're getting a little less skittish. Just to stay in here while we make this noise mm -hmm. is a really big deal. You just move and they're, they're gone. Mikey. Hello to my dear friends. How are you? Thank you so much for being here with me and Micah and Lily and Sophie this morning. I don't have anybody else on the video, any of the other animals. Um, I can see your picture, but I can't think of your name. You requested Bo specifically. I promise that I'll get him on more 
on more videos for you. You know what? As a matter of fact, he is in the kitchen right now laying down. I'm going to show you what he does all the time. I'll just show you right now. Hang on. Okay, so this is Bo. Bo, say all, he hello to all your YouTube fans. You're a YouTube star, Bo. Everybody loves Bo Bo. Say hello. Hello. This is the end of one of his bones. He got that big giant bone from Regina. Oh, did you hear him? Hear him? Hear him? See, Tarzan's right there. And his bone's right in front of him. And none of the cats can get anywhere near him. Did you hear him? <laughs> oh, you big old fat bobo. I keep, we keep this door closed, the one that goes to the kitchen, and there's a, a drape that goes on the other place. There are two doors that go in or out of the kitchen, depending on where, what you're doing. And Micah always tears them up with a wheelchair, and we have tried all these different things, and it just, she just tears up the doors, so we finally decided to take them off. But when it's extremely hot, extremely cold, it makes a huge difference because the Family room has no ha no air, no heat. Matter of fact, I haven't even walked in there for days, except just to just to either walk outside or go in there and get something. So I haven't even been playing the piano, and I've been doing so well. So I might move it somewhere else. But there there just isn't pl a place in our house to move things. You just have to put them where they go, and then it's just inconvenient. If I bring it in here. Well, right here is where Micah comes. So Micah is going to come right here. She already runs into the couch and shoves it down. And there's my big boy Tarzan. Hey, you. Hey, you big boy. That's my boy. That's my big Tarzan. That's my big Tarzan. Oh, that's, that's playtime when I start touching his belly. He's got big, long, sharp claws, he does. Hey, you. So Micah will um, hit that couch when she comes into this room. And anything that is over there, she will just run into it with her wheelchair. She drives really well. It's just the fact that it's a wheelchair and it's really big. It's bigger than a manual. It's an electric wheelchair. It weighs like 200 pounds. But what I actually got on here to tell you about is there is underneath my armpit I have this knot that's about this big and it has grown every single day today is Thursday I found it last Saturday I'm going to the doctor this afternoon in case you get all worried I found it last Saturday afternoon and in the morning I was putting on my deodorant I'm like wow that hurt what was that so I look in the mirror and there's this little bitty bump there It was less than the size of a pea so every day I check this and it is growing and growing and growing and by day three it was three times bigger than it was on Saturday and every day it just grows so right now I would say it's about the size of half of a walnut because it's under the skin it's out of the skin it's been making me feel sick um, so I have some prescription anti-inflammatory that I got for my hip a while back so I've been taking one of those per day. Now this morning I went in and took one now, even though I'm not feeling real bad right now. When I get up in the morning, I'm noticing that my body just needs to sleep to recover a little bit. I'm, I'm probably going to need an antibiotic, but it does help me. Because in the morning I, don't, I get up and I'm not feeling quite as bad. But by mid-afternoon, I feel so sick. Yesterday I was up, I was dressed, ready to go to church. And I started feeling so bad, and then William William wanted to see my arm. He said, well, let me look at it. So he looked at it, and he said, no, you don't need to go anywhere. So I will go in today and see what they say, and I'm assuming that I need an antibiotic. But the pain that it's causing is crazy, but how fast it's grown is crazy. I am assuming, at first I thought maybe this was... Um, like like an infected hair, you know, like the, the hair follicle was uh, the hair, see, is that right, hair follicle? Um, the hair, you know, the, the little thing that the hair grows out of. I was thinking that it was infected. 
And as it went on, I'm like, well, surely one little piece of hair is not doing all of this. It's just growing too fast. So I'm assuming it's like a, a lymph node in there that has gotten infected. But I will let you know tomorrow exactly what's going on. I go to the doctor this afternoon. I couldn't get in any sooner. I called on Tuesday. Our doctor does not have regular 9 to 5 hours. He's only there a few hours on Wednesday, a few hours on Friday. And he's booked because everybody is so sick. So when I called on Tuesday, the soonest I could get in was this afternoon. Now, I could have gotten in this morning. I should back up there. I could have gotten in this morning. But Reagan's truck, he is going to have to get an entire new transmission, $1,600. So he's going to fix the transmission in the truck. But in the meantime, he's been driving my car for the last few weeks. So he will continue to drive my car until he gets his truck fixed. So I'm kind of carless because he has to be at work by 7, then he goes to Metro Community College at 1 for plumbing, and then he gets home about 3, and then he goes to work at Home Depot. So I have to kind of schedule everything around there unless I want to get up super early in the morning and have them at school by 7, and then go pick him up by, um, let's see, he's actually out of class, maybe at 11.50, something like that. Anyway, that's kind of what we're doing. So I'll let you know what the doctor says about my arm. And I went in and took some anti-inflammatory because by the t that, that time of day when I'm actually going to the appointment is when I start really feeling bad. I just feel really sick and I'm really hurting. So I went in and took it right now so that I'll be good by the time I go. And other than that, everything around here is good. There isn't anybody sick. Reagan was on a 10-day antibiotic. He's doing really well. Micah is well. I'm well. Everybody else seems to be well. Now, anybody that doesn't live here, I'm not sure how well they are. It's kind of hard to talk to some of them that don't live at home anymore because they are busy with their life. And I remember being busy like that, too, when I was younger. And I didn't, I didn't call home too much because I was, just, I was just busy living my life. So I call them, and sometimes they call me. Kendall is good about calling me. Christian's not so good about calling me unless he needs to. But I will call Christian, and then I see him, you know, some at church, too. That is the news for today. Say hello to me and tell me what's going on. Thank you so much for being here. It really means a lot to me. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.